Hey guys, welcome back to our love series. I love you guys. I love you. But what do I mean when I say that? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. No more. Sorry. Uh, no, what is love, right? I think a lot of times we can say like, I love this or I love you or, um, you know, we use the word a lot, but what do we mean when we say it, right? Uh, maybe it means that we care about something or someone, we're passionate about it. Uh, we have the warm fuzzies, we get the butterflies in our stomach, right? It can mean kind of a lot of different things depending on the context, depending on who is saying it, right? But I think it's important, right? If, if last week when we talked about like all of this is about love, right? Like everything we do needs to have love behind it. Otherwise it's kind of worthless or point, like what's the point if there's no love there? Well, we need to know what love is if it's that important. So to be real, we could spend months on this next passage, breaking down like each individual one um, but we're not going to do that. Maybe at some point in the future, right? <laughs> let's, who know, let's say in 2024, we're still in quarantine, baby, right? At that point when I'm running out of stuff to talk about, then we'll do it. Uh, no, but we'll just kind of do an overview and I'm going to read it multiple times throughout the video because it's like a lot. And I want, what I want when I read it is for you to pick one or two that stand out to you, one or two qualities or aspects of love that stand out to you. And I want you to think about why they stand out to you, what it means to you, and like, what does it mean that that's what love is and how that applies. And I'll share with you how a few of them apply to me or are meaningful to me. So let's get into it. So, like I said, we're continuing on in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, um, or sorry, 13. And this week we're looking at verses 4 through 7. And this is like the, the, lo like the love passage where people use it in weddings and stuff. So, let me read it. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Dang, that's a good passage. I think it's not just like famous for being in weddings and cause it's like mushy gushy and poetic, but like, whew, like that's some solid stuff. Um, that's pretty good. And so I'm gonna share two that are meaningful in particular, all of them are good, right? And I could find examples and reasons for all of them, but there are two that jump out at me immediately, at least at this point in my life. Uh, so the first one is love does not envy. Love does not envy, right? And I think this is important because let's say like, why it stands out to me is, this happens to me a lot um, in the context of like a relationship or even a friendship, right? I'll, if, if there's someone that's new in my life and I'm like, wow, this person is really cool. I want to spend more time with them and I want to get to know them more. And this is so amazing. And this is really cool. Right. Uh, all those are like positive, fun feelings. But at some point, what always happens is, is there's like a flip and I, I like want all of their time all the time because they're like, oh, like this is such a good feeling and I want it and I become envious of the time with them and just even them. And when I find out like, and I, I would never like 
verbalize this because I know these are like crazy thoughts, but this is what happens in like my heart and my head. I'm like, why are they spending time? We could be hanging out together. Why are they doing this? We, right? And the thing is now, what am I in love with? Am I, in, am I in love with this person? Do I care about this person? Or am I in love with the way they make me feel and, and like the happiness that I get from that? Because it's more, it's less that I care about them and what they're doing with their day and their time and more like, I want to feel good, right? And that's, this is closely tied in with like the love is not self-seeking, right? The envious is like, I'm envious of them and their time. Um, and I like, I want them all the time because the love is getting like weirdly morphed and it becomes kind of gross and it's no longer about like caring for another person. It's about like, I want to feel good and I need you to affirm me to feel good about me. Right. And I know I'm not alone. This is like a dangerous trap you can fall into. Right. And like we hear about like the jealous boyfriend, the jealous girlfriend. Right. But this verse is like, love does not envy. Right. Love does not envy. I think it's important to hold on to that, to know that. Right. And then the second one that I'm going to go into a little bit is the very last one. Always perseveres, always perseveres. And we just did a whole series about perseverance and like keeps going. And the reason this is so important to me is because I think underlying a lot of like my friendships and people I love and people I care about, there's like this fear that they're going to leave and that'll be alone. And it's nothing to do with like even past behaviors or whatever. It's like my own insecurity. It's nothing to do with them. It's like my insecurity that if I'm not good enough, people will leave. Right. But I need to trust that if people truly love me, well, then what do we know about love? Love perseveres, love perseveres. And this can even help me like, right. When I'm not insecure and when I can trust that it even helps that previous one, because I'm like, it's okay. Like we can have days and times where we're not hanging out and not doing things. And like, I can still trust that the love, is persevering, right? The love perseveres. And that's true for the way I feel about students too, right? Like sometimes you guys are in season and you're in a sport or school is crazy and we don't see you for lengths at a time. And other times you're like able to come all the time and we see you every week. And like, I understand both and neither changes how I feel about you. And it shouldn't, right? Because love perseveres, love perseveres. And so I always needed to be reminded of that and still need to be reminded of that. And if you need that reminder, then here it is for you. That if someone truly loves you, that love perseveres and lasts, right? A person who loves you never like threatens or like, like almost blackmails, right? Holds it over your head that like, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll stop loving you. Cause that's not love. Love doesn't do that. Love perseveres. So I'm going to read the verse one more time. Think of two that stand out to you and just spend a few minutes of the day thinking about why does this stand out to me? Why is this important to me? So I'll read it. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I hope you guys have a good week.